What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. It's going to focus in on the uh, Boston Bruins re-signing Brad Marchand to an eight-year extension that will pay him $6.125 million a year. Full no-movement clause for the first five years of the deal and limited no-trade clause after that. Uh, obviously had a career year last year um, with 37 goals in the season. Didn't, didn't get the Bruins into the playoffs, but you know who's keeping score at this point? I don't hate this deal. I thought... You know, I've been very vocal the whole time that, you know, when this deal comes down, I'm not going to like it because they're going to overpay for him. But, you know, you look at a guy like Marshawn and say, all right, $6 million a year for a guy that's, you know, wait a minute. So he's making six hundred grand more than David Boland, so put it like that. Um, you know, he's a consistent 20-goal scorer. Did, was last year an anomaly? Yes. I don't think 35 goals is going to be the status quo for him. But, hey, I've been wrong before. Um, and, again, I, I thought he was a valuable trade asset. But, you know, when you can get a, a capable, you know, first-line forward re-signed to a deal like this, I think it's it's fair. you got to do it. Um, and, again, you know, he's grown up in this organization. It's the only team he's ever known. Won a Stanley Cup as a rookie. And, well, you know, the team has fallen on some very tough times recently. And the next five years are going to suck. He's a guy you want in the fold. And, you know, him and Bergeron have been, you know, electric together over the last five, six years. Were there those whispers that, oh, we could be going to Pittsburgh to team up with Sidney Crosby? Yeah, but they end up being just that. Um, you know, all due respect to Sid, Patrice Bergeron's a pretty damn good center in his own right. If the Penguins offered him one for one, I would trade him. I would make that trade if I was the Bruins. But, you know, he, there's a familiarity and, an, and a, you know, sort of camaraderie with him and that team. And, you know, he's become really one of the uh, marquee players. And doesn't mean they've, you know, there's not some other guys that can market, but. You know, there's a, a comfort level there. And, you know, for me to say that I, I like something Don Sweeney did is, you know, it takes a lot. But I, I think this is a fair contract. And, uh, you know, he got the money he deserved. You know, all these people saying, you know, eight for eight and all this other shit. Like, you know, nobody was going to offer him that kind of money. He's not an $8 million a year player. Plain and simple. But, you know, 6.1 for the next eight years. A little bit, um, you know, the term I'm not crazy about because he's got one year left on his contract. And then so it's. The deal will be up when he's 37. You know, he's been a guy, again, that, that wants to spend his whole career with this organization. And, uh, you know, this helps. This deal helps. We'll help that come to fruition. So, again, I don't hate it. And uh, we'll see uh, how he plays in, how he plays out the uh, next eight years. Nine years, really. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of The Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes with the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.